I don't know if y'all feel this way, but I feel like this year is just going by so fast. Like, can you believe it's almost Easter? And I was sitting there thinking about this the other day and I was like, I haven't done like any spring dresses yet. So I'm fixing that today. We are doing a massive torrid Easter dress, spring dress, spring break dress haul. I mean, I got all the dresses that fit in one of those categories and we're gonna try them on together. With that, let's get into it. <laughs> Lavender is just yummy. It's just a yummy, yummy color. And I love this one. It's got the nice kind of puff sleeve. It's got a kind of clip dot embroidery to it. So it has a little bit of texture. And this looks like it's a midi dress. It's a really great cut for any body type because we're having that line right under the bodice with some nice little details around the neck. And yeah, I just thought it was really cute. It's very sweet. This is a sweet dress. This is like, this would be a really good first date, date dress. Like wear it for Easter and then wear it for some guy you met on Hinge, right? <laughs> Whatever the case, I thought it was cute. You can also wear it on shoulder or off, so I'll show you both in the try -on. If this isn't the most <laughs> Easter dress I've ever seen, it is pastel perfection. I literally, I literally feel like I'm ready for an Easter egg hunt. And I personally, I think I would do it like this. She's a little bit wild. Okay, another color that just screams, screams, screams spring is this like bubblegummy pink. It is that like not, it's a little bit more than pastel, right? It's got a little bit more saturation, but I love this color pink. And I love this style dress. I've actually had this style dress from Tord before. They seem to bring it back pretty much every season. Why I love this dress so much is it's just so easy to style. You can throw on a belt or like a denim jacket or even a biker jacket and really bring this to life. Also layering it over a tee is a super cool way to wear it. And the pink color makes it fresh, right? Oftentimes we pull for dresses like this in black, but screw it, it's spring. We'll wear it in a pretty pink instead. Plus since Barbie happened, pink is pretty much a neutral now, right? <laughs> I'm in a neutral right now. <laughs> Okay, little details I noticed when putting this on. This is a cute little like mini cowl neck here at the bus line. So that's gonna give you a little zhuzh for the ladies. And I love the pleated skirt. I think this is a home run, guys. I think this is a home run. Also twirl, such a nice twirl. I love a good twirl. Now we're going to the florals. Florals for spring. Ground, is it groundbreaking? How groundbreaking. I can't remember the line. I should remember the line, but now we're going to go through a bunch of florals because yeah, spring is all about the flowers blooming. So they should bloom all over us too. So we're going to start subtle. This I really thought was an interesting take. It's a little bit more of a boho vibe than kind of a traditional like Easter floral. Now I will say right away, this is probably going to be too short on me right? I am a tall girl. I'm aware of that. But I'm also aware that my height is not the average. I am above average height. So this will probably work great for everyone except my tall girlies. Um, or my tall girlies who like to show a little bit of leg. I'm not one of those. <laughs> hide the legs. Don't hide them. I just, uh, I like to wear bike shorts under my dresses most of the time. And if you can see them, it's just not a cute look. Anyway, this can be worn on the shoulder or off nice puff sleeve. It's actually very similar to the purple dress in terms of style, but it does have some more smocking at the back. So that's going to make it very comfortable. And it does have a little bit more of a curved hem underneath the bust. This is more of a chalice material. And yeah, I just thought it was really cute. Okay. I was a hundred percent wrong about this dress. <laughs> I'm adorable in it. It is the perfect length for a short dress. And honestly, totally and completely obsessed with this one. Now we're getting into the more traditional like spring florals. And you know what? I love me a granny floral and I will love them till the day I die. You will have to rip them out of my cold dead hands because there is something just chic about this like couch-esque style print. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, why I love it so much, but I do. I also feel it's, it's, it's just like sweet and like serene. Like this girl wants to read a book in a cabin by the lake. And I, in my head, want to be that girl. So 
I love this one. We've got pockets. It's midi. It's a fit and flare with a um, ruched bodice. So it really works for every body type. It has adjustable straps. And again, you can layer things over and under it really simply. But yeah, it's cute. And I love this blue. Like this cornflower blue is a color that I haven't really seen a lot in floral. So I feel like this is kind of a fresh colorway. And I, I really like this one. Out of probably all the spring florals we're going to look at, this one might be my favorite. I have like such a clear image of who this girl is. She's wearing into those straw hats, but they're not on her head. They're like on her back with like the tie around her neck. She's definitely got a boyfriend named like Reginald or something old timey like that. And she likes to sit on a plaid banquet in the park and like pick wildflowers and read old books. That's who this girl is. <laughs> like very clear. Y'all, if you have never tried the Torrid Super Soft Dresses, you are missing out because they are, as the name implies, super soft. Now, I saw this one because I was thinking St. Patrick's Day is also coming up, and this baby is going to make them green with envy. I love this Kelly green. It is just mwah, the perfect green, especially if you are warm toned. This is just going to make your skin pop. As you can tell, I am a warm toned person, so this color... <laughs> perfect for me. Might be perfect for you too. Adjustable straps, pockets, but what I really love about these is they really are the softest. I love wearing these over swimsuits as kind of like my cover up or if I know I want to like go to the beach and then maybe go to like a little shack for some food or something. This is the type of dress I'd put over it. Now I have this amazing green print, but then I also got a similar dress in a different print that may work for some of you that this green just didn't, you know, pique your interest. I think this is really cute and I love how much volume is in the skirt. Sometimes they're a little bit more column-like and this one definitely has like a drama to it. Am I the drama? In this dress I am. Okay, this floral is another couch floral. Oh, love me a couch floral. This is out of a chalice print um, or a chalice fabric. And I love the little ruffles on the sleeve. They're so sweet. This definitely gives coquette vibes. You could put a ribbon around the waist and like little ribbons in your hair and it would be just like a little doll, like a precious little doll. Again, we have a fit and flare skirt that does have a little bit of a ruffle at the bottom. So again, definitely perfect if you wanna have like that cutesy girl vibe. And the colors are just so sweet. This girl also reads a book by the lake. She definitely does. She probably gets asked out a little bit more because I feel like she's a little bit sassier. I might be wrong. I think the blue one could get asked out a lot more, but she like doesn't want it. This girl, she's secretly flirting with you, which if you didn't know, coquette is a term for a woman who like leads men on to get what they want. So yeah, this would definitely be coquettish. I feel like I'm going to go for a picnic on the British countryside. That's what came to my head. It's giving Laura Ashley. It's giving expensive. It's giving, I have a house in the country. I do not, but I would like one. <laughs> it's good. Y'all, when I saw this on the website, I was like, oh, it's so like Stevie Nicks. And I am seeing it in real life and I don't like it. I'm going to try it on for you because that's what we do here when we haul things. But it is a mix of lace and chalice fabric and it just, it's not my vibe. And it doesn't have that like whimsy that I thought it would have. I think it just kind of looks sad. And the color also kind of makes it feel dirty. Like it's like it's not quite cream and it's not quite white and it's not quite beige enough. It's just in this like, eh. and it also reminds me of like cheap lace. Actually, this probably is cheap lace. It just, it ain't it. It had potential, but it just did not deliver. I realized why I hate this dress. It feels like a bad 80s dress. And also, just this, <laughs> this seam right here is just cruel and unusual punishment. And all of you watching this deserve better. <laughs> you deserve better than this dress. If you are settling for this dress, maybe ask yourself why, because you deserve better. <laughs> I deserve better. The stuff I do for you. Y'all, this dress. I love the gradient. I love the gradient of the skirt. I want to show you guys that up close. If you're from Texas, all I can think is the yellow rose of Texas because that's what this feels like. It has cute little ruffles. This is sweet. 
This would be so cute for like a little bridal shower or like a bridesmaids event. Like that could be really fun. Like going out. It's just sweet. I'd say it's cute for Rush, but I know nothing about Rush and I don't even know if that happens in March or when that happens because I did not rush. I was not cool enough for that. I was too interested in actually my school didn't even have Rush, but I don't I don't I don't think I would have been let in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not a rush girly, but maybe you could wear this to rush. If you are a rush girly, props to you. Um, I think because I didn't have it in my school, I just don't understand it. But could you wear this to rush? I'd like to know. I feel like I'm a Disney princess. <laughs> ah! Okay, I am not a dark dress girly. Uh, I love bright colors. That's who I am. But I saw this dress and I was like, somebody's going to fall in love with this. And they just need to see it on a plus body to make sure it like works for them. Cause a lot of times the models on websites for plus size clothing are like a size 12. <laughs> they don't have the same curves and squirves that we do. So, squirves. <laughs> this has a little like lace insert here. And what you can see if I stick my hand behind it is that it's actually like a peekaboo. So you get like that little kind of like, mm, but you're actually very covered. I thought this was really cute. I thought the print was really cute. I love the lace up detail here. Again, it's re it like feels revealing, but it's not. So it's a good way to like put yourself out there without like really putting yourself out there. It's sexy. It's a sexy dress while being very modest at the same time, which I think is quite hard to find. So I felt like I just had to try this one on for you guys. Not my usual vibe, but would I wear her and love her? 100% unexpectedly delightful. <laughs> this is how this haul is making me feel today. Those are some sweet, sweet moves for this sweet, sweet haul. This is a trapeze cut dress. And I will tell you, I don't think I've ever seen a floral like this from Torrid. This would be great for spring break. This feels more spring break than Easter. It does have like pockets in the side, very simple trape trapeze silhouette, which is where it just goes bloop, whoop. And it's lightweight chalice. I don't know. I mean, they're going to love this or hate this, but it felt very different than the other florals we were looking at. And also the cut was a bit different. Again, though, because it is that baby doll style dress, not baby doll, but um, spaghetti strap style dress, you can layer it, you can um, put shirts underneath it. So there's a lot of flexibility with dresses like this. Um, and also when you're traveling, because you can do all of that, you can make this one dress um, really work a lot of different ways. And if you want to see a video on how to do something like that, let me know in the comments. Because honestly, I could style this 10 different ways with just a couple different pieces. So it's a very flexible dress in terms of it of the variety it option, the variety it offers. I am a little tongue tied today. So I actually really like this print. It's giving like Hawaii and spring break definitely more than it's giving Easter, but it's very comfortable. It does have pockets. And again, this baby can be styled so many ways. So it's a win. So many wins at this haul, like literally so many wins. Okay, this is another dress I think that people would wear to Rush. Again, I don't know <laughs> nothing about Rush, but it, I think it's just when I see a dress that's mostly white with flowers, I just assume that they wear that. I really should learn about Rush. But this one has more of a covered sleeve, so if you are not as comfortable with your arms, this is a good way to cover it up while still feeling chic and fashion forward. Um, you also have the ability to go off the shoulder or on the shoulder, which I really love. I'm seeing more and more off the shoulder dresses this season, so I think that's coming back around. We've got nice smocking here, so you can choose to wear a bra or not, depending on like how it fits, but it is gonna give you some support at the bosom. And then it does have like a ruffled tier. So there's three tiers to the skirt. So a lot of the skirts we've looked at have been like a straight skirt with a ruffle at the bottom. This is going to give you that progressive ruffle. This feels Southern, right? This feels a little bit country. And honestly, oh my gosh, I'm seeing it here. You put like a brown leather belt, a little cowboy boot, a little heel. <clears throat> this feels Texas. This feels very Texas. Now that I can see the style in my head, this is a Texas girl. This dress is a certified banger. Like this is a great dress and it does really have an Austin vibe. I think I might have to style this for y'all cause I'm feeling it. It's kind of some next level stuff. Oof. I mean, the skirt is just so fun. Look, it's another one of those spaghetti strap dresses. I wanted to give you 
a basic one, right? So if you really like were new at this and uncomfortable and didn't want to start with a floral or a brighter color, denim baby or a chambray or chamois colored is great. This is a full length dress, so it's going to give you some coverage as well. Maybe it's, no, yeah, no, it's a maxi. So it's going to give you that coverage, but again, give you that flexibility of really kind of styling and restyling the same piece. But again, something that's a little bit more neutral. This would probably be the best option for travel because it is more neutral, but literally you can make any dress like this work in a lot of different styles. And again, let me know in the comments if you want to see that video. I'd really actually like to make it. This dress is really comfy, but I have a negative. It definitely wrinkles way too easily. So it just wouldn't be something that I would personally keep because <laughs> it needs to be able to survive if I ball it up and put it in my suitcase. And this one, it would not survive. No. We're gonna end with a dress that has nothing floral to it and feels very different than anything else. And that's because I know some of you are my goth girlies and I still wanna have your back. And I saw this and I thought it was super cute. This is an eyelet closure tank dress in black and white stripe. So if you are a little bit rock and roll, this is like the perfect look. This dress is also super soft, very comfortable, is gonna move with your body. And you can sex it up a little because these eyelets do open. So you can show a little cleavage. This would actually be really cute with a colored bra. I know it's a little skanky, but I love it. I love it. I love a colored bra pop. And like, come on, it is 2024. I almost said 23, but it is 24. We can show a little bit of our bra, guys. Like, men be showing all kinds of weird stuff. I have the TikTok. I see what they're doing on there. We can flash a little bit of a colored bra, um, especially like a bralette. Oh, that would be really cute. Honestly, I can see how this would be like a little sassy, but very cute. I've got it in full sex pop mode, but I'm going to I'm going to class it up for the internet. <laughs> it's not what you guys came to see. But I do really like that you can open it. Um, it's a very comfortable dress. And I think it's a very, like, sexy dress. And anyone who was, like, looking at this being like, you shouldn't wear horizontal stripes, shut up. Because <laughs> you should 100% wear horizontal stripes. I mean, look how good I look. Eh, you can look this good, too. You do look this good already. You just may not think it. Y'all, <laughs> I'm gonna need to sit down for a second because that was a lot of dresses, but I gave you options. If you don't have a dress in here that you like, I don't, I can't help you because I literally got everything I liked. Like every single one that even was like remotely maybe gonna work, I showed you guys because that's what I do for you here. I try it out so you can make better decisions when you're shopping. So links to everything are down below. Again, if you want to see that like spaghetti strap dress styling video, I'm, I'm just going to make it because <laughs> I have so many ideas right now. Um, but yeah, if you want to see that video, let me know down below. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And as I always say, peace.